Shut up and sit down. Welcome back to another. In this question, we are doing 2018 short question eight. So let's read through quickly. The graph below shows a group of fishermen. Two fishermen are represented by the represented by the skew lines A, B, and C, D on the right. A determine the projections of the shortest horizontal line between the two skew lines, and then B determine and indicate the distance uh, of this line to the horizontal plane. Okay, so nice of the skew lines question. So when it comes to skew lines, no matter what they ask you to do, you must always make a plane of the two skew lines. So what I mean by that is we need to project either CD onto either B down here or A, and then do the same in plan. Make a triangle using the angles of the two skew lines. And before you do that, you must kind of go walk through it quickly. Like So if we bring CD up to B and project it down this direction, bring A horizontally across, you have to bring CD to B Bring it down here, bring that point down, and it'll eventually meet it. But then our true length line is going straight down here. So let's try the other way around. Let's try CD to A, bringing it up, bring B horizontally across, CD to A, going up this direction, bring it down, lovely. And then our true length line is going this way. So what we're doing is bringing one skew line to the edge or to the point of the other, and then drawing a horizontal line from the other edge to meet that because if we have a horizontal line here in elevation that's parallel to the xy line in plan that same line will be a true length and if we have a true length line here represented by both skew lines we can do point view of it and show the edge view of the two skew lines and then parallel so let's bring cd over to b and draw a plane in elevation So now that we have our new point E found, that line from E to B is horizontal and parallel to X, Y line. If we find that EB line here in plan, it's going to be a true length. And it's the same concept, bring CD over to A. So we'll bring CD here over to A, bring our point E down where it meets, join it back to B and that's a true length. So by finding E in the plan, by projecting it straight down, because remember these are autographic views, this is autographic projection, so E going straight down, it has to be directly below itself in plan. After that then, we do the same thing we did in the elevation. If you brought CD, the line CD to A, you must do the same in plan. So line CD is brought to A, draw a strip to, found, to hit our projection line, so that is point E in plan. By joining it back to B, the line EB here in plan is a true length. And now if we project our skew lines down to an auxiliary elevation of the four points, Using that angle, we'll see them parallel and we can move on to find the shortest distance. So before we move on, you are projecting everything down the same angle as the true length. We put in a new XY line, this is uh, perpendicular to the projection lines. I put in a DAP line up here at our first point, which is C, saving me that little bit of room just in case I need to. So the DAP line just means we bring the XY line up to C. So our point C now will be on the X1, Y1. And then we go from our DAP line to get our heights down here for our auxiliary elevation. So the auxiliary elevation we're doing because we're projecting the plan. Therefore, we get our heights from the elevation. that setup is the same no matter what they ask you you're always finding a plane using the two skew lines so you're finding a true length of plan and you're projecting or whichever view we find a true length then you're projecting an auxiliary view the auxiliary view should give you the two lines parallel now my heights might be a little bit off it doesn't look great there after that then uh, what they ask you determines how you do your second auxiliary view so they're asking for the shortest horizontal line so to for it to be horizontal our next auxiliary view has to be projected at the same angle as the X11. So we're using that because technically that represents the um, horizontal plane here in our autographic view. So project all your points 
up here, same angle as the X1, Y1 line. Find your heights back from the X1, Y1 to the plan. You should see your two screw lines cross, giving the shortest possible distance. I will project that back then through all our views. To review where our two screw lines cross that point here is a point view of the shortest horizontal distance so that is a line and it's represented there by point view so if we find that point view we project it back down because the same angles we projected all these views previously so this one project, projected back down we can draw on the shortest horizontal distance between the screw lines we're across the cd finding the plan we're across this ab finding the plan join them and project them to the elevation what you need to remember is this is the shortest horizontal distance so it actually should be a horizontal line in elevation now when you project them back to view, it might be slightly off, but use your T-square to try and get as close as you can to horizontal. did say determine the projections of the shortest horizontal line between the two skews. So not only do you have to find the point view of it here in our second Twitter view, you must project it back to all views. Now again, it's a horizontal line in elevation because it says the shortest horizontal distance. So I had to kind of adjust the height there across the line. So accuracy of your how sharp your pencil is and so on would affect that. So but make sure it's a horizontal line in elevation. Now for part B, it says determine and indicate the distance from this line to the horizontal plane. Now this is very easy for part B, but what they're trying to test here is, do you understand what the XY line represents? In the elevation, the XY line represents the ground plane, the horizontal plane, because it's horizontal. In plan, it represents the vertical plane, because it's vertically sitting upright. So to find the shortest distance between this line and the horizontal plane, determine and indicate. So we're going to show the shortest distance here, and indicate I'm going to stick a measurement on it too. Now they might not need a measurement, it does say indicate, so we are going to stick the measurement on it just in case. And it doesn't really make any sense if there is no scale involved here, seeing as these are fishing rods, it's not going to be. Uh, 22 mil. Anyways, that's the question finished. And as always, I hope these questions help. Uh, if they do, leave a like and look in your exams. We'll see you in the next one.